What's up guys, so in this video I'm going to be going over how to set up Visual Studio Code with Godot. So this will basically add functionality so that whenever you click a script inside of Godot, it will open your Visual Studio Code editor and you'll be able to edit everything externally, which is very helpful. But I just thought I'd make a quick video covering this topic because this is a pretty helpful thing to set up for Godot. So first thing we need to do is install VS Code or Visual Studio Code. If you don't already have it installed, you can just go to code.visualstudio.com and just download it from there. And then once you have it installed, you can just go ahead and open it up here. So on the left hand side, you're going to want to click this extensions button. And you can see I have a lot of extensions installed, but you don't have to worry about any of these. We're just going to search in the top for Godot tools. And it's just going to be this, this top one right here. And all you have to do is click the install button here. I already have it installed, so we're just gonna leave it as is, but you can just install that here. Now, next we just have to set a couple things up inside of Godot so that it knows where to look for the external editor. So inside of Godot here, we just wanna go up to editor settings, network, and then in the language server, we wanna make sure that this remote port is the same inside of Visual Studio Code. So we're going to change it in VS Code. So we're just going to copy this number and then go back into VS Code. And you can click on the settings icon right here inside of the plugin. And we're just going to go to extension settings and then scroll down until you find Godot tools. And this is the server port. And we're just going to paste the number in here. I already have it as 6005, but it might be different for you. Um, but mainly just make sure that it's the same between the two programs, otherwise they won't be able to connect. And then back inside of Godot, we wanna go back into editor settings and we wanna scroll all the way up to text editor here and then go to external. And we just gotta set up a couple things here. So first of all, this is going to be if you want to use the external editor, which obviously we do. So we're gonna check this and then you're gonna to go to the executable path. So basically just find wherever you installed Visual Studio Code. I don't know if you can see this, but mine is stored inside of users and then app data, local programs, Microsoft VS Code, and then just make sure you get the executable inside of the path. And then the last thing is going to be the executable flags. For Visual Studio, it's just going to be the one that I pasted in right here. If you wanna copy and paste, I'll leave this string in the description of the video, so you can just grab that but make sure you have this without any typos. And then once that's all set up, you can go ahead and close out of this. And now if you set up everything correctly, when you try to open a script here, it will launch VS Code and open up your script. Now, obviously there are some limitations to using this editor um, over the Godot built-in editor. So the one thing that is kind of limiting is, let's say you have a script here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually disable this for a second. So I'm gonna make a new scene here just to, for an example, and I'm gonna put a script on here. And basically, as of Godot 4, you can get any nodes from your scene tree. So if I had like a sprite here, I'd be able to click and drag it here and then hold control to drop it in. And it'll automatically just populate this line with the onReady variable for this node. Now you obviously can't do that with VS Code because it's in a separate window here. It kind of gets annoying sometimes, but it's not really that big of a deal. But aside from that, VS Code is definitely extremely powerful, um, as you can also integrate stuff like Git, which if you haven't set up for your project, I have a tutorial series I'm creating for that, which I'll throw in a card. It'll be at the top of the video or something, but you can go check that out if you want to set up Git. Um, but you can actually integrate that with VS Code, which is super helpful for game development. And also, if you want to install any different themes or anything to change up how your environment looks, that's also kind of fun to do sometimes. So there's a lot of benefits to using Visual Studio over just the built-in Godot editor, but I thought I'd make a quick tutorial just going over how to set that up for you guys. But that'll do it for this video. If you learned anything new or enjoyed the tutorial, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.